What's up y'all, it's Naja from All Things Naja and I'm back with another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use heat and bond, fabric, and the Cricut machine to create a shirt that looks something like this. Some of the materials that you're gonna need for this project is fabric, the Cricut machine, heat and bond. You're gonna need Cricut mats and Cricut tools, obviously. But aside from that, I want you guys to have an iron. I used my Easy Press 2. That's also what you can use because it's just basically a big old iron. A ruler, an iron, a Cricut, your computer, your Cricut mats and tools, a t-shirt and some fabric. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make magic with them. If you're interested to see how this comes out, keep on watching. Let's get into the video, guys. So first what you wanna do is grab your shirt. And I have this extra small youth t-shirt from Gildan. And you're going to just use your ruler that I told you to have. Or you can use your Cricut mat because you know it's basically like a ruler. But I have one of these rulers. And you're going to basically just see how wide you want, you know, the name or the words to go. So I think I want mine to be about nine inches. And about three and a half inches down. So after making sure that I make a mental note of having nine by 3.5 in my head for Cricut, I need to make sure that I have nine by 3.5 worth of fabric. I know I have it in the heat and bond because it's a new pack, but as you can see, obviously I have over nine inches. So you need to make sure that you have like a leeway of two inches, which I do. So nine by, you know, 3.5, so I'm good. So what you're gonna do is put that to the side and then get your heat and bond out. Make sure you read the directions for yourself when you do open it. But it says to pre-wash all materials, which I've already done with that fabric. Preheat iron to medium heat, no steam, and place adhesive back of material to be bonded. Paper liner should be up. So I'm gonna show you what they mean right now. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn on my heat press because it's just like a big iron, you know? So when they say paper liner should be up, they mean this side. This side is more textured. That's the adhesive side. So what you need to do is flip fabric to the wrong side. You don't want to apply the adhesive to this side because you want the adhesive to be on this side so that you know it will be face up when you iron it on. Place this heat and bond. I actually cut out the perfect amount, literally, and with it literally stops right there. So I'm going to Press this on. Let me see how long it says to press for. Place and hold iron on the paper liner for two seconds. Repeat until entire surface is bonded. Allow to cool. So basically what we're doing is we are pressing the adhesive on to the fabric. So I'm gonna use my heat press mat because I don't wanna mess up my um, mat. So I'm just gonna have to use. So I'm gonna press for two seconds. One, two. Who actually does the actual rules? Then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side and press. One, two. I know that was more than two seconds, guys. I just wanna make sure that it was on there. It says allow to cool, so I'm gonna allow it to cool. Those directions you should follow. In the meantime, 
I'm going to cut down the fabric. So I've cut the fabric down and it's, pe it's cooled. So I'm going to peel back the paper liner. And as you can see, it is now shiny on the fabric. And it's like that throughout the whole thing. Meaning that the adhesive is now on the fabric. So here we are in design space, y'all. And I have <clears throat> put the height and width to what I wanted it to be. 3.5 was just a little too long for me. It made the letters look a little weird. So what it ended up coming out to be is about 9.4 by three. Is about what it is. And this looks like this. So now we're going to press make it. I already got my Cricut turning on. You do not want to mirror when you do this because you'll be putting the fabric face up onto the fabric grip mat. So when you get to this part, what you're going to do is just continue. And it's going to take you to this screen where it will pop up all the different materials that you'll be using as soon as my Bluetooth connects. So we're gonna go to browse all materials right here and type in fabric. And this is just cotton, but there's obviously a lot of cotton. And I'm going to type, I'm going to click cotton bonded because we did put the bond on the back and then select done. So apparently you don't need the rotary blade when you are doing this. All you need is the regular fine point blade, which is already loaded. So yeah, if you're going to be using heat and bond, then you don't need the rotary blade. You need the rotary blade when you're using just regular fabric. So now that we're done with that part, we're gonna come on over to the Cricut, but before we open it up, we're going to put this fabric onto the mat. Open that up, insert this, press the blinking arrow button. So now, if you hear my baby crying, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go get him while it's cutting. So now all you have to do is press the Cricut button and it's going to cut it out for you. Now that we're done with that part, we're going to unload it. You can pretty much just put away everything now. So what I'm going to do is just pull this excess over here. And just remove all that excess fabric. Sometimes some of the bond will stick because you know, it's sticking to a sticky surface. And this is what it looks like on the mat. So you're going to take this tool. I'm gonna take this tool and remove the letters from the mat. Next step, you wanna grab your shirt 
And I'm just gonna close my computer to give me a little bit more space. Excuse the items from my last crafting experience. I just got done with a different shirt. So what you're gonna do is put something between the shirt because I am using my heat press. So I would recommend that if you're using yours. Do before I press, I wanna make sure that I have my ruler out because I'm going to use my ruler. I'm glad that it's see-through because I'm gonna use it to make sure that I'm staying within like the lines of each other because I have to place these letters myself. So my heat press is heated up. So what I'm gonna do is preheat the fabric. preheated. Now what I'm going to do is just start putting those letters down. So once you have all the letters placed like this, what you wanna do is just take that ruler and just make sure that they are all ending at the same spot and starting at the same spot. Because they will move if you press in the wrong way, what you wanna do is hold down with the ruler on this side and use your iron to make sure the top is ironed on first. So what I'm gonna do is do it just like that. Bonded. I can go ahead and do the bottom and I did remove the heat pad just simply because it was making my design go off like off as far as placing the letters but now I'm going to put it back underneath so that I can fully press And after you have finished ironing it all on and you can feel that it is bonded, nothing is coming up on the sides, then you are done. And this is what the shirt looks like. So that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching me make this shirt for my baby if you enjoyed seeing how i did this i want you to go ahead and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys can be alerted when i post new content and if you like what i do please just leave a comment something positive to let me know to keep going i do appreciate everything you guys write i do read them all though i don't have time to respond to them all i do read them all so Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out guys.